Drones saved the front line. Ukraine fights Russia with toy UAVs. There are many drone manufacturers in Ukraine who send them to the front lines to their military. These drones cost about $400 to $500 and are capable of destroying expensive Russian equipment, Bloomberg reports. The agency told about the founder and CEO of the company, Vyri Drone Alexei Babenko, who produces about 6,000 drones per month. Vyri makes what it calls first-person view drones. They have four propellers and a mounted camera that can wirelessly transmit live footage of the flight to the pilot. The pilot operates using a remote control similar to a video game joystick. The drones were originally used for racing competitions until someone figured out that you could attach a bomb to use them using duct tape. Traveling at speeds of up to 160 km an hour, a single FPV drone can be equipped with explosives powerful enough to disable an armored vehicle. Three of these drones can disable a tank. The article says, The publication noted that the appearance of such drones has significantly changed the Ukrainian economy because Vyri produces a drone by investing in 400 to 500 drones and it can destroy an enemy tank which costs $9 million. According to Bloomberg, drones have become very important at the front because it is a cheap way to dispel the fog of war, ensure constant supply and strike at enemy equipment and forces. The drones have practically saved the front line. The publication quoted Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as saying, The article reported that Vyria technicians manually screw and solder engines, cameras and motherboards to the constant hum of fans and electric screwdrivers. They also have several 3D printers that help them work on making new drone frames for testing. When the drone is ready, it is lifted into the air for a quick test. Then it is put aside for packaging and delivery to the front. And within a week, some soldiers are carrying out combat missions, destroying a Russian vehicle or platoon thanks to these drones, the agency writes. Bloomberg also noted that in addition to FPV drones, Ukraine produces reusable drones that are capable of carrying explosives over long distances, in particular into enemy territory. Magura V-5 drone destroyed most Russian ships during the war. Polish scientists have released the results of a study on the most effective maritime drones in the Russia-Ukraine war. According to RBC Ukraine, in the article published in the Political Science and Security Studies Journal, they concluded that the Ukrainian drone Magura V-5 destroyed most Russian ships during the full-scale aggression. Thus, the scientists analyzed the impact of unmanned maritime drones on the security situation in the Black Sea region and identified the most effective naval drone. According to the study, in the Russia-Ukraine war, Ukrainian maritime drones hit 22 military ships, of which eight were destroyed. Among them, Mykola and Mame drones hit two ships each, Sea Baby four ships, Magura V-5 14 ships, eight of which were destroyed. The researchers relied on open sources. Ukrainian and Russian maritime drones that came into the scientists' focus included Mykola, Magura V-5, Mame, Sea Baby, Tolaka, TLK-150, Marichka of Ukrainian production, and the only known Russian maritime drone so far, Oduvanchik. Magura V-5 is a Ukrainian unmanned surface drone used for reconnaissance and destruction of enemy targets. It is known that this drone is used by the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, specifically the Group 13 Special Unit. Currently, the Magura V-5 is the first maritime drone in the world that completely destroyed targets in combat conditions. The confirmed and officially recognized by Ukrainian military intelligence targets are Reconnaissance Ship Ivan Kors, damaged on May the 24th, 2023. Patrol ship Sergei Kotov, damaged twice on July the 24th and September the 13th, 2023. Landing boat D-144 Cerner, sunk on November the 11th, 2023, along with the BTR-82 on board. Landing ship D-295 Akula, sunk on November the 11th, 2023. Missile boat Ivanovets, sunk on February the 1st, 2024. Large landing ship Cesar Kunikov sunk on February the 14th, 2024. Patrol ship Sergei Kotov sunk on March the 5th, 2024, along with the KA-29 helicopter. Two high-speed special purpose boats RIF-75 destroyed on May the 6th, 2024.
In addition, during a large-scale attack on the KS-701 Tunnet's boats on May the 30th of this year, three such vessels were damaged by drones and one was destroyed. Earlier, the Defense Intelligence stated that when choosing a target for Magura, any objects within an 800km radius are considered. Moreover, Ukraine confirmed that R-73 missiles, which have already proven their effectiveness, were installed on these maritime drones. In particular, they have deprived the Russians of dominance in the Black Sea. As for the Sea of Azov, intelligence does not rule out that Magura could be used in this area as well. However, this will depend on the situation and conditions in which they will have to operate.